this is a play about what happens to you when a seismic series of events shatters the fabric of your world and all you've got left is the one person who you love. When I first started thinking about this play, um, I was looking at it as a piece essentially of restoration noir. And by that I mean there is a sense when you read the play of being trapped underground. The entire thing seems to take place at night. It all takes place over the course of about three days. Well, the play has Venice in the title, so it's unmistakably set in Venice. Venice as a city, existing as it does in spite of water, feels like a science fiction invention. It's the kind of city that you would find in an episode of Star Trek, somehow rising from some alien water. I'm obsessed with the possibility that people find this show as exciting as anything they might encounter on the telly or in film. I want this show to connect with people. I don't want them to be coming to a museum. I want them to be coming to a space that feels like the inside of their hearts and, and, and that has a kind of propulsion and a, and a dynamism that doesn't let them go. It has a clarity of language which makes it immediate and thrusting um, and I would say not in any way unclear but it feels at times alarmingly modern and that's one of the most exciting things about it. Here's a play from 400 years ago talking to us about things that are kind of in our present world in language that is kind of our present language and that's why it's a great play. Mm -hmm.